Tonight's going to be Ashoni, one of the most aggressive chase drivers in the history of drifting. If he's on his day, and he's on his day today, I was watching practice. Expect a lot of tire marks, a lot of bumping, and these two guys know each other's style very well. That's from Pride in the UK, both from the United Kingdom. Bags oh, boy. in that Monster Energy S13 chase, and in the Driftworks 32 of Martin Richards, and here we go. If you have some fish and chips, hold them up, because this battle's going to be intense. As that 32, popping and banging all the way down the hill. Look at the speed that these guys have coming into that first outer zone. Bagsy putting all that proximity on. That R32 is real nice looking. He say, hey, let me put some marks on that door as they come back through outside towards the wall. Not holding back an ounce as they come around. Here we go with that proximity. He's not giving him any chances. That was a fantastic lead and a fantastic follow. Unbelievable from Steve Bagsy Biagioni. He was on the edge. He knows how good Martin Richards is. He knows how talented he is. He couldn't allow him to get away and he didn't. He was with him the whole way down. There wasn't an inch in some of those transitions. Look at Bagsy's transition here. Big wild flick into the corner, but he handles it on the brake and he gets back on the throttle. Is there a little bump here? It looks to me like a little bump between the two cars on the switch and they stay in it. Beautiful work wheels on that R32 get a little bit of a scrape. And then Bagsy right here just starts reeling them in. Look at this. Front wheel to front wheel. Nothing between them. Smiles all around. And even though this is a fun exhibition, this is pro two professionals yes. at an exhibition professionally drifting. Yeah, so I'm not sure what the exhibition part is, is, is relative here. But we just dipped into Drift Masters. And yes. Dip, we're going to dip back out for the next battle, but this one... Oh, this is a, a full-on Drift Masters <laughs> battle that you're seeing in the middle. Of, but they're on... It's a freebie. You yeah, get this one without, without the sticky tires. So yeah. this is just driver v. driver. Bagsy's playing a great second run, but I think Martin Richards now is coming. He's going to come for it here. He has only said he hasn't drifted much this year, and he said, you know what I want to do? I just want to beat Bagsy. Cause, oh, because wow. he, he said he's straight cold. Bag, Bags, he'll hold it over me. He'll keep reminding me. So here we go. Martin Richards off the line. Steve Bags and Biagioni through the gears and up over the hill. They will go as Bagsy puts that big flick. Martin Richards right up onto the back bumper as they come through the first corner. Martin Richards starting to turn the screw. And look at this from Martin Richards. Inches between these oh guys. Up onto goodness. the door is Martin Richards. Richards. This is a ridiculous chase run for Martin Richards. Putting it all out of the bag here as the transitions get dangerous. And they fire to the wall. Richards hides it perfectly. And this is as good as it gets for pro-level drifting. Bagsy and Richards blowing the roof off Mondello Park. There was absolutely no distinguishable difference between an absolute pro competition with everything on the line, with money on the line, or a skateboard deck. They were throwing caution to the wind on that one. That, that was, was a treat. As good a battle as I've ever witnessed in Mondello Park, and I've been here a while, and that was phenomenal. Martin Richards, it was just depth defying. Grandstand, that's as good as it gets. Give it up for Steve Bagsy Baggioni and Martin Richards! That was some cars on the line in that one, Dad. They, that was all on the line. I mean, that could have been for $100,000, but and it's not. It's not, but it's for pride. They, they, well, if you're calling it out before it even happens, yeah, you you, you got to put it all on the line. I'm going to need some more noise from the banks and the grandstand. Give it up for Bagsy and Martin Richards, guys. What a run that was. That is as good as it gets. That's enough. That's enough for the it's day. We're both standing. We're pumped. We, we, are si we were pumped. sitting down. Now we're standing. That's how good that battle was. And those, got, there's a good discussion going on in the judging panel right now. We got, well, we got the difference. It's actual drifting, so there's going to have to be some real actual judging on this one. We got Chelsea Denofa and we got Kevin O'Connell having a conversation. Things that should never really happen are happening right now. And they're having a good conversation about it. And we're waiting for a decision to drop in. Uh, do we have a decision, guys? We do Kevin O'Connell. Who's getting the win? Is it Bagsy or is it Martin Richards? It's a complete split decision in the tower. There's one vote for Bagsy, one vote for Richards, and one vote for one more time. We are going one yes. more time, one more time between Bagsy and Martin Richards. And there may not be any more cars left after this one more time. That, we just about got away with that one. They're checking some tires. Guys, give them a big round of applause as they head back in the cars to don't go even crazier than that first run. I, I don't even know what to expect. After seeing that and what's going to happen, I, I am ecstatic that this is a one more time. I didn't have to pay the judges to see this again. So that's a good thing. They're both checking the tires. Seeing, are they going to go straight back up to the star line or are they going to go back into grid order? They have got the option to change the tires, but the smiles on both faces turn to on laser focus when they were told it was a one more time. <laughs> These guys have driven together for probably 10, 15 years and they travel all over Europe together, they travel all over the world together. And now they're going straight back up to the start line. No fuel, no tires, they're going back at it again. Well, and this, this. this is gonna be 
exciting. I'm at the goosebumps. That, that yeah, I just, like, the, I've never been this excited for one more time. And I know these guys may be new faces to some people across the water, across the world. You're watching them on the internet. But this is what the LZ World Tour is all about. It's the familiar faces you know, and then the new stars that you may not even know exist and how good they are. Now they're. you do. Now you know. Now you've been learned. This is serious business. These guys are in <laughs> those cars. <laughs> Look at that. We are getting treated to a one more time full on professional battle here at the LZ World Tour. And it's patchy up there, but there is grip to go a little bit crazy as we go through the cones. And it's going to be Martin Richards in the lead position, Banty in the chase. And look at Banty's right on the back oh bumper of Martin Richards. In the it's ridiculous through the first corner oh, from oh, Steve oh, Banty oh, Biagioni. Oh, 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 oh. Fires through up onto the door. And look at this. Banty is inches away from Martin Richards. Contact through the corner. Contact again, pushing him through the corner. Off the back bumper goes Banty with a big late dive onto Richards as they fire through, screaming up onto the door and smashes in the door across the finish line. Absolutely unbelievable. This is incredible. <laughs> wow. This is drifting, folks. This is this is getting your money's worth. If this you is... have a friend that has never seen drifting before, this is what you show them. They should be here. They should already be Guys, here. Guys, give them a big round of applause oh as goodness. they come by. That is incredible driving. And remember, it's all for your entertainment, folks, here in Mandela Park and at home. That's all it's for. No big championships, no big checks. This is just for the sport. Not even a trophy. Just for the sport, just for the showcase. Just to show what they're all about. And that is poetry in motion from Martin Richards and from Steve Bagsy Biagioni. Again, not, not any of the judges in their position right now because they have a tough choice to make. If the next run is anywhere well, near as crisp as that yeah, one. Here's the thing now, Dan. What does Richards have to do? Because that is a pretty much a win for Mighty unless Richards is in the most incredible form of his whole career. Because right now he's got to do the most ridiculous chase run ever to stay in this battle. And he's going, he put his hands up in the air and said, what have I got to do? Well, Martin, you've got to, you've got to do everything. So Bagsy looking like he's got it in his corner right now. But here comes Martin Richards to retaliate. Has he got it in him? Has he got what it takes? But well, he's definitely getting very close on entry as they come through. Check this out. Richards almost goes backwards oh, in the, the chase position. Bikey puts the foot down. Richards on a big transition. Oh, oh man, Richards goes to the door, oh, smashes Bikey uh, through the corner. I can't even believe this right now. These guys are absolutely in contact with it. Both Richards with a huge dive along the wall. Up onto Bikey as they go around the last corner. That is absolutely bananas here in Mandela Park. How do you judge that? How? How? That is, you know what, Mondello Park, the two grandstands in front of everybody up on your feet. That is as good a run as you'll ever see in Mondello Park. Everybody up on your feet in the grandstand to represent these two guys who put their machines on the line. Everybody else is going to hit them on a wall of sound because that is what drifting is all about. Give it up for Bagsy and Martin Richards. I don't even know. I don't even know I what, can't. how can you even judge that? That was absolutely ridiculous. Well, that was two runs of that amazing driving back to back. I don't know, I'm gonna have to call a doctor if we have another one more time. I think there's <laughs> gonna be attacks. cardiac arrest up here. We have to have a decision though from our judges and we're gonna go to you, Chelsea Denofa, who is going through to our top eight? Bagsy gets the win. Bagsy, Bagsy gets the win and goes through, and that is what it's all about. But guys, give it up for Martin Richards. What a show. Adam Ivel is down there somewhere. Adam, that is one of the best battles I've ever seen. One of the best battles I have ever seen today. Boys, don't disappear. I want to talk to you both. Martin first, quickly. Bagsy two. I just want to quickly say we had two English boys have a whole of Mondello Park on their feet. That's how good that was. How, how was that from inside the car? It's two of the best battles I've ever seen. Ryan, you first. Please. Um, um, Bagsy and I battle a lot, and uh, a lot of times we end up hitting each other so much. <laughs> I've driven over his bonnet here on that hill in Mondale before. Uh, but finally we had two sets of clean battles, and honestly I'm quite happy to lose to him with that, because uh, looking at that little video I saw, he was just that bit closer on the entry, so well done, mate. Bagsy. Wow. Wow. Honestly, right, I, I'm not going to lie to you, I am Martin Richards' his biggest fan. I swear to God, like, if, if I don't win this event, I wanted him to win it for sure. And uh, we both said on the start line, whatever happens next is just going to be amazing. I'm going to have the best time, and uh, I hope we put on a good show for everybody at home watching and everyone here live at Mondello. Thank you, guys. You hope? You hope? Did you just see me? Go!